Australian scientists have recently completed the first comprehensive strontium isotope mapping of Israel. These are isotopes found in most of Earth's soils. They eventually make their way to human and animal bones and teeth. And it's important because they provide researchers clues about where they lived on Earth. It kind of serves as a fingerprint for the locations where they resided. Israel has many archaeological sites that are of great importance for understanding human evolution and tracking across the country. With me now is Dr. Ian Moffat, senior lecturer at Flinders University, joining us from Adelaide, Australia. These isotopes, sir, tell us kind of what makes them so special and what we're learning about human evolution and migration around the world. Thanks very much for having me on the show tonight. I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to talk about this really exciting research. Well, strontium, the thing that makes it special is actually that it's not special at all. Strontium is in, in almost every rock, in, you, in my and your bones and teeth, it's really widely distributed throughout all the materials uh, on Earth. And so it's an absolutely perfect fingerprint uh, for tracking uh, migration of early human or animal populations. And what are we learning really then about the kinds of uh, migration patterns in the ancient Middle East across the, this area we refer to as the Holy Land? Well, I, I was so uh, thrilled to be able to work in Israel. I mean, as many of your uh, viewers know, the archaeology there is absolutely world class, not just in terms of uh, Holy Land archaeology as such, but the very early human history of uh, the earliest Homo sapiens to come out of Africa and uh, Neanderthals. There's no country on earth, I think, that has such a high concentration of, uh, of really world-class archaeological sites as Israel. So it's, it's a fantastic place to do this study. What, we're, what this work really is doing is not giving us new information about those sites as such, but laying the framework for really exciting research moving forward. So using this map, we'll now be able to trace uh, mobility of, of, of people or animals from a whole range of sites within Israel. So I think this is going to have a really big impact on archaeology in the region uh, for many years to come. I know now you're back in Australia, joining us from Adelaide. From your time here in Israel, from the work that you did here, really in kind of mapping at, through this mapping and, and uh, with the help, of course, of these isotopes, what surprised you about what you learned as the, as the roadmap became uh, clearer to you? What kind of surprised you about the research? Look, there's, there's two aspects of that that I really want to talk about. The first is that it was my first trip to Israel and I just had the most wonderful time. It's such a fantastic place. The food, the weather, thinking from a cold, dark night in Adelaide at the moment, uh, very fondly of, of the time I spent there on fieldwork. So that was absolutely fantastic. Hmm. But the other thing about Israel, which is so interesting for strontium isotopes, is your geology is almost a perfect natural laboratory. You've got... Uh, quite a uh, big variations in the strontium isotope values of your rocks between the basalts in northern Israel, the limestones in central Israel, and the igneous rocks in southern Israel that, that really show up very well for strontium isotope uh, provenance of archaeological materials. So it's one of the best places in the world, I think, to do this sort of study simply because there's such large changes in the geology over comparatively short distances.